So I'm going to make a short video about uh, what I know about shaving. So the, this, I want, I want to leave it here for my son because I want to be able to share with you what I've learned about shaving and the best way that shaving for me. And you know, it, it might just work for you, it might just help you along the way to get a better shave straight up. So the first thing to remember is uh, always have a shave as soon as you get out of the shower so that your body is hot, your pores are hot and, and the, the hairs are, are ready to be plucked out. Your, your skin is, I don't know what the word is, but you've got to have a hot shower so your pores are open, that's it. So all your skin pores are open. So as soon as you get out, have your hot water. So make sure you've got a big bowl of hot water. You've just come out of the shower, your body's all hot. I usually just put some hot water on my face and then I put some shaving cream on. This is the shaving cream that I use. And I just need about that much. And what I'll do is I'll put that and I'll hold it in the hot water for a, a, a moment to, to warm up the cream so that I'm not putting cold cream on a warm face. And then I'll spread it around and I'll, I'll spend a bit of time to massage it into the skin. And spread it around. My grandfather used to shave with a shaving brush and with his soap and I thought oh, that's a good idea and he, he would spend a lot of time massaging it in so when I put the, the shaving cream on I make sure I spend some time to, to massage it in. I've got my gown on because it's a bit cold today I want to keep my body warm I want to keep my my face warm I've got the heater light on you now when it's hot you don't need to do any of this because you, it's hot anyway, but because it's quite cold where I live, I make sure I do everything I can to keep myself warm. All right, so uh, this is the razor I use. It's a Schick Extreme 3. It's got three blades on it. You can see that. And it's got uh, aloe vera to help your skin repair. So. I always do the same routine, the same amount of movements across my face. My first one, because I've got sideburns, so I line up between my eye and my ear and I run it down to the corner of my lip. Like that, that's the first stroke. Um, I don't go over it twice and then I will shave down. Now what you notice that I'll pull my skin tight as I shave, and that just helps the razor to run over. So I line up between my eye and my ear, and I run it down to the corner of my mouth. And that gives me that nice line on my sideburn. So you can see I pull the skin tight as I'm shaving. And I try not to run the razor over and over my face. This piece here, I hate shaving the most, so I try and do it at the start of my routine. And you can see I'm pulling the skin tight as I'm moving around, and I'll just feel around with my finger. I feel just to make sure I've got all those little edges. And I rinse, rinse my razor off as much as I can. All right, so my sideburn, I make a line between my ear and the corner of my mouth. And I shave down. Pull the skin tight so that you just need to run the razor over at once. I used to get terrible razor burn because I never had a routine. And I just used to go <laughs> all over my face. And I hated shaving because my face would hurt afterwards. And especially this piece here. This was the worst piece. And I'd find if I shaved down, sometimes it would be good. If I shaved up, usually it would be better. But I always get this red rash here. So I don't shave all the way down on this side. I just shave here. Making that line between the ear and the corner of my mouth. Because this piece here, and I was told by a hairdresser once that this 
bristles grow out very curly. So when I shave this piece, I shave it across ways. And that's just been trial and error, but that's been, that's been 30 years of shaving before I, I learned how to do that. And you can see it shaves beautifully, it doesn't hurt, doesn't leave me with any rash. And then I just finish up the last few pieces. Now when my grandfather used to shave, he would use a cutthroat razor, which is one blade. And I, I would see him shave and he would go, and he would just make one pass with the razor. And so we've got these multi-razor multi -razor blade things. And when I pass it down, that's the same as doing three passes with a single razor. And then I'll just go around and I'll touch it up. But, you know, once you shave somewhere, the shaving cream comes off. So I try not to, I resist the urge to go and go, oh, just check that bit and check that bit. Because the razor's already been over it. Three razor blades have been over in one stroke. So the, the first thing to remember is make sure that your body is hot. You have the shower as, if it's cold, have the shower as hot as you can. Oh, that was a bit freaky. <laughs> Have the shower as hot as you can, um, smooth strokes with the razor, and you have a routine. You have these movements. This is my movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, across here, across here, and across here. And I do it the same way every time. It's a little routine that I've worked out over the years. So I hope you've learned something from my experience of shaving. And I really hope that one day I can show you all this in person. And one last thing that I'll add on is I don't wash my skin afterwards because the, the shaving cream has got moisturizers in it. So I, I leave the residue of that on my face. I just go old school like they used to do at the barbers. And I'll just use a towel to wipe off the cream. And then I can feel that the moisturizer from the shaving cream is on my face. And it's not irritated, it doesn't hurt, and it feels nice and smooth.